What's going on everyone? It's Garnett Walters here again. I'd like to thank you for checking out today's video. Today's video is gonna be a little different. It's based on a question that I get all the time. But before I get into that, I'd like to give my subscribers a shout out, um, re reaching 100 subscribers. Um, I'm really grateful for that. I thank you for your support. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and press on the bell so you know when a new video comes out. So the question that I often get is, what do I have in my bag. All right, let's see. As a musician, I find these items to be very helpful. I plan on doing some more videos on some more items that I carry in my bag. Um, these are in no particular order. So the first item that I have in my bag is an M-Audio Uno, which is a USB to MIDI converter. I find this to be very helpful because Sometimes when you go to a venue to play and they say that they have a keyboard, sometimes the keyboard isn't the greatest. So you have an item like the USB MIDI converter to hook up to your computer. So you'll have all the sounds that you want in your computer, but all you need to do is just have it on the USB on the computer side and then plug it in the MIDI on the back of the keyboard and then you'll be good to go. The next item that I have in my bag is actually a bag and it's the Groove Gear Elite Club bag. I find this bag to be very helpful because the bag that I had before, it was a regular laptop bag and it served its purpose, but I found that I could barely get, you know, whatever things I wanted to carry, like my laptop, my iPads, all my wires and, you know, uh, interfaces and things like that. So I like the fact that the Groove Gear Elite bag has compartments that you can put designated um, items in and it's very streamlined and it's very durable. Um, my laptop bag, it, again, it did the job, but it wasn't as durable. So the next thing that's in my bag is the Knox Gear Universal Keyboard Stand. Um, I played on this keyboard stand at a gig a couple of weeks ago. It's actually, it was actually my friend's uh, keyboard stand, and I was really amazed by how strong it was and how portable it was. Um, it looks like it opens up like an accordion, and then when you want to raise the level of it, you just unscrew the two sides and they both lift up, the sides lift up like an elevator. And then to hold it in place, you just screw the um, the, the, the bolts back in. I found it to be really, really uh, efficient and it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's again, a very strong uh, keyboard stand because it held up a Nord and you know, Nords have some weight on it. Um, I'm actually going to be putting it in order. I've been meaning to put an order in for that keyboard stand for a while now so after this video i will definitely do that let me write that down order knox keyboard stand after this video so the next item that's in my bag is a laptop stand by samson i had to purchase this laptop stand because to be honest, I was really tired of trying to find a table at a venue to put my laptop on that was the right height. And I was also tired of trying to find chairs to put my laptop on. And if there wasn't the right height, I had to stack chairs and stuff. And then on top of that, it looked really bad when I was taking pictures to have chairs stacked with my laptop on it. It looked really tacky. So I ended up getting this laptop stand and I found it to be really helpful because it has a sticky pad on there so the laptop won't shift around and move. It has a lip just in case you need to put something on there. Um, there the items won't slide off. And I find that it's very compact and it's not bulky, which is really important when you want to carry gear around. So the next item on my list is the portable music stand by Donner. So I got this gift for Christmas. A special shout out to my friend who got it for me. Um, this music stand is really portable because it fits in a small bag, it comes with a small bag. It also comes with some LED lights that you put on the music stand so you can read the music. And it also comes with a music clip so that, you know, the page just won't turn on its own. It will just hold it in place. Um, it's really lightweight. It's not bulky, um, which it seems to be the theme of this video anyway. A lot of these items are not bulky. You can just carry them. They're, you know, light. You can fit in your car. You don't need like an SUV to carry these things. Just put them in your trunk. Um, and also, I like having this music stand because I like being prepared and I don't want to try and find out at the gig if they have music stands or not. Like, I like being self-sufficient to a degree. So I find that this music stand will really, really help. So the last thing I have in my bag 
is the PreSonus Audio Box i2 audio interface. I like this interface because, again, it's not bulky, it's very light, and I like the fact that you can record on your iPad. You can use it as an interface for your iPad or your iPhone. Mm. It has MIDI. And I also like the fact that mm. it's very easy to use. It's just plug and play. All it needs is just a USB and you can plug in a mic or you can just plug in your instrument, guitar, whatever you want. This is the audio interface that I use to record the audio for my videos. If you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to give you a special shout out for checking out the whole video. It really means a lot. There's going to be some links in the description for all of these items that I mentioned. I find that they're priced really well, um, they're very affordable, and this is a good way to start building up your bag. Please like, share, and also leave a comment if there are any other items that you think you'd like to add to the bag. Thank you again for your support, it really means a lot, and thank you for checking out the video. Have a great day.